Welcome to Infoware. We're going to show you a little bit about uh, smart car and connected car connectivity solutions. And today we have this beautiful VW Passat here, uh, which is equipped with Miralink. And we're going to explain to you how this works. Come on in. Okay now, um, we're looking at Miralink in this car. Uh, VW has equipped um, all of its cars uh, with the Miralink technology. And what Miralink does is basically it is a technology that we also find in uh, remote desktop applications. It really, as the word implies and as the name implies, it mirrors the content of the smartphone's display uh, to the car's display. So in order to uh, connect the smartphone, smartphone with the car, um, we need a cable. That is still required in this version of Merlink. You plug this in here. It's a little bit hidden away. Um, plug it into the smartphone, and if all works well, ask me whether it will allow should allow access of the car to the smartphone's data. And now there is this point here, App Connect. That's what it's called in the Volkswagen. Now it asks me, you can see it has all kinds of technologies, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, and Miralink. So you need to choose the right device. This is our Samsung. Takes a little while. Smartphone display is going blank, and here we go. Map trip is coming up beautifully on this huge screen, and I think it looks great. So here we have exactly what we have built for the smartphone on this display. Um, you can see when I, when I approach my hand, it pops up this, this, this control bar here. This is not part of our application, but this is rather part of Merlink. So I can say directly, okay, I want to go home. And whoops. Perfect. So we can slide it either way, use all the functionality that we have built into MapTrip. We can even do this, which I find very, very funny. There you can see it actually mirrors the content of the smartphone's display. Okay, so here we go. Let's see how this works in driving. Oh no, app is not available during driving. Well, this is one of the first and very important aspects about Miralink, uh, and uh, that is certification. As you can see, the app is uh, is there when we're stationary, when we're driving, it's not there. That is because the app in Miralink, the apps need to be certified in order to be used in the car. Um, now there are different levels of certification. The basic level is to have the uh, app certified for use in a stationary car. I don't really understand what that's good for, but that's the way it is. Next level of certification is to allow the app to be used while driving. Um, so uh, that is that is obviously not the case here yet. And um, number three and four of the levels is certification for use in the USA and for Japan. Um, we're going to go back to the developers make sure this works in the car and then we'll give it a second try. Okay, what I like very much about Miralink is um, that it, it it's very quick to integrate in your abbiegen. application. It doesn't take a lot of work. Uh, it's quite straightforward to do. Um, that is, if you know what you're doing. Um, because the challenge about Miralink is not so much um, the actual integration, doing it, but rather finding out what you need to do and how to do it, because uh, the documentation is, uh, let's say, it's a bit of a challenge um, to find the documents that are really relevant and um, all the tools you need. Um, but once you know what you have to do, um, it's quite straightforward, it is quick, and it just does what I would expect from such an uh, application or a technology. It mirrors the application, the smartphone application to the car's display. And it looks good. 
So all in all, um, about Merrilink is a technology that I like very much. It is quite easy to integrate. It looks good on the display. Um, on the other side, uh, on the other hand, um, there's the certification process that is a little bit costly. It takes some effort, um, but I guess that's the way uh, things need to be in the automotive industry. Um, they need, they're worried about driver distraction and that's how they want to make sure that uh, you're building an app that's actually very usable in the car. Um, then uh, it's only available for Android and uh, not all Android devices. That is a shame and I don't really understand why that is so because all in all it's technology that I like very much.